All right, three, two, one, go. Tack your asses back. And there's two things I want to talk about in this video. The new uh, patch for Marvel Future Fight, 1.2, uh, and the amount of energy spent and the rewards for um, the dimensional rifts. So let's get right to the updates. So it's looking really good so far. Um, that right now the server's on our maintenance. It's um, June 9th, so I'll hopefully um, get a video of the actual update stuff. Uh, so it looks like they added some Guardians of the Galaxy characters, um, a new seven day check-in event for Rocket Raccoon, so hopefully he's really good. Uh, looks like they finished the um, Hulkbuster event. So there will be some special missions, so that will be interesting to see. The gear option change is fantastic because say if you have a character that does physical damage and you know, for when you upgrade their their weapon or whatever option they have, they roll um like say energy damage. That's not gonna be good for them. So that's that's great to re-roll the stats to get uh, like the perfect attack boost. Dimension shifter seems interesting. An ally or enemy breaks into your mission, clearing the mission will get you biometrics. So, um, what my guess is that say if it's an enemy, uh, enemy say um you're playing the stage with like, you know. The biometric is for like Black Widow and stay randomly Venom jumps in. You maybe have to beat Venom with Black Widow and then you have a chance of getting um the bla uh, the Venom biometric. So hopefully we'll see what it actually is once you get into there. Um there's um well more Ultron uniforms and then there's bonus more bonus stats on all uniforms. Not too bad, not too bad. Character description and joystick controller is now available. So a few changes that they had were just some SNAS rebalance for hero types, villain siege rewards, and new honor chaos token shop list. So, shop list. So hopefully they added some more characters and more items in there that are worth um, investing. Let's go ahead to the um, the dimensional rift. That's probably like my biggest thing for this video. My biggest gripe with uh, the game as well. Uh, excuse me there. Let me go ahead and just upload. Um, just take a look at my pictures here. And so I've kind of gone through a lot of rifts, just kind of taking apart um, the energy cost and you know the the reward scheme. Now I started off with um, this rift, the number one, because again it starts off with nine energy, and this is the reward that I had gotten from it: seven rifts and two clear tickets. Again, ten energy. I only got five tokens and two clear tickets. This is 11, you know, six rifts, and then two clears, you know, energy 12. As you can see, my, um, again, I have 82 energy there. Started from nine. This is the reward for, for the previous one. 13, played it. This is the rewards. 14, this is the rewards. 15, again, rewards. 16, rewards. 17. Rewards and I only got one biometric. So out of how many times was that? Let's see. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of nine attempts, I only got one biometric for the destroyer. If we were to calculate that, um, nine plus ten all the way to seventeen, that is 117 energy used. So again, I had to spend. Um, no, not gold, but I had to spend the the points, the hero points, to get the 25 energy. Because again, I had only got one biometric out of the nine attempts, and so that's really low, really, really bad. Because that's a lot of energy to use. I mean, I, I would assume the more energy you use, the the higher the chance to get a biometric, and the rewards the rewards should be greater and better. I mean. This is again the rewards for 17. I cleared it in, in just about a minute. And my gold was only 768. Who else agrees with me on this? The dimensional rifts are great to get um, newer, other higher characters, but the rewards are so low. And the only reason I play the dimensional rifts are to get those capsules here. You need those to upgrade gear. And thanks again for just checking this out. Little rant there. Um, let's hopefully see the upgrades are great.